So I've got the little OLED watt meter hooked up. And I've installed SMA connectors on this attenuator. It was a kit from K5BCQ. Let me scroll down here a little bit. All right. You have to trust me that I have a signal generator whose output is exactly one half a volt RMS. Now one half a volt RMS is 7 dB and the little watt meter is reading 7 dB. I have zero offset and I am operating at 50 megahertz. 7 dB equates to 1416 millivolts and the little watt meter is saying 1415. Now, my signal generator will maintain 7 dB output. I'm going to switch in a 1 dB attenuator. The little watt meter indicates 6 dBm. And that should equal 1262 millivolts. And it's 1261 millivolts. I'll switch in another, a, a 2 decibel attenuator, which makes a total of 3. Remember, I'm inputting 7. The little meter ind indicates 4 dBm. 3 subtracted from 7. I'll switch in by switching out I've switched in a total of 7 dB attenuation. That is, I've switched in 6 and 1, which should give us 0 dBm on the meter, and it's 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. That should be 632 millivolts peak to peak, and it's 647. So far, so good. Everything looks good. And remember, we're actually evaluating two things which may reflect on each other. I don't know how good this attenuator is. And of course, I don't know how good this watt meter is. So with positive 7 dBm of input power, I'm going to switch in 17 dB of attenuation which should put us down to minus 10 dBm. The little device is reading 9.9. .9. That should be equal to 199, say 200 millivolts. The little device says 204. I'll switch in 20 decibels of attenuation. which should put us down to minus 30. The watt meter reads minus 29.3 dBm, which should equate to 20 millivolts. And I'm reading 21 and a decimal. I can switch out 10 and switch in another 20 which should put us down to minus 40 dBm. The watt meter reads minus 39 point something. That should equate to 6.3 millivolts peak to peak. And I'm reading 
actually I'm reading 7,000 microvolts. I'm still within a decibel of minus 40 dBm. I'll switch in another 20, which should take us down to minus 60. So minus 60, and the little device is reading 58.4. should read 632 microvolts and it's reading 750 microvolts so the microvolts reading that's peak to peak seems a little high but the decibel reading is still within one and a half db and we don't know if that accuracy is or that error is here or here. Now this is supposed to read down to minus 75. We're at minus 50 right now. Well, we're at mi minus 60 right now. So I can get to minus 70 by switching in another 10 decibels. Okay, so we're starting to get a little bit weird. According to all of the attenuation and whatnot, we should be at minus 70. The little meter is reading minus 67.9 or 67.7. And that should equate to 200 microvolts, and it's reading 250 microvolts. So it's within 2 dB at minus 70. But I don't know whether that's the meter or the attenuator. We'll take all the attenuation out. which should return us to seven decibels and there's seven it's flashing between 6.9 and 7 dBm so I think that's a pretty thorough test of the range of operation that this little watt meter is supposed to provide so if you like this kind of stuff subscribe to my site Drop me a message, or at least come back for the next video. Thank you.